Hello, my name is Gary Bouchard. I'm a 1988 graduate of Loyola University in Chicago, where I received my PhD in English, studying early modern literature, 16th and 17th century poetry under some wonderful professors. And of course, during my time there, I spent many, many hours in Loyola University libraries, and I'm pleased that the libraries have invited me to share with you uh, a little bit of word about a recent book that I published. Since leaving Loyola in 1988, I have enjoyed a really wonderful career up here at St. Anselm College in Manchester, New Hampshire, teaching students, enjoying uh, their rich lives and the lives of the mind with many colleagues. I published two books, one on pastoral poetry and Edmund Spencer, and then uh, a book on Robert Southall, who is a Jesuit priest and martyr 1595 and a Catholic saint and a really influential poet upon the likes of poets like John Donne. Um, and then most recently, I published a small book, um, not of scholarship, but an invitation to anybody who is, uh, feels inclined to try to understand poetry and anybody who desires to pray. 20 Poems to Pray was published in 2019 by Liturgical Press and this since won an honorable mention from the Catholic Press Association. Um, so I, what I did was simply arrange 20 of my favorite poems from the seasons and surround those with meditations that I think lifted the prayer out of them. And so the book moves from autumn into Advent and Christmas New Year's and then to Lent and then Easter Pentecost and finally summer. Um, so let me read a short excerpt from the introduction to give you uh, a taste of it. Uh, I start the book by declaring that poetry and prayer are close cousins, if not siblings. It's true that most poetry is not prayer and that many prayers make for pretty mediocre poetry. But both the earnest petitioner and the determined poet may each be said to achieve their highest aim when they deploy language with such grace and inspiration that their expressions transcend language itself. Sometimes as with most of the selections in this volume, poems are prayers. In the case of other poems offered here, they contain a longing of a kind that allows them to serve as a sort of prayer. Then borrowing the words from the 17th century poet, George Herbert, I offer this invitation. I invite readers and encourage them in the pages and in the seasons ahead to use the words of poets as vehicles to express heaven in ordinary or to pray like exalted manna to find the right paraphrase for their soul or maybe sense their soul's blood to muster up from grief or anger reverse thunder or dare to articulate from personal anguish christ side piercing spear to voice something understood if peace, joy, love, or bliss are engendered in any form or quantity for any reader, then my effort in this small book has been more than worthwhile. I invite you to purchase the book for yourself, a friend, a friend's friend. Um, and uh, if by chance you do so, and you appreciate in any way what's in here, I would love to hear from you. I'm easy to find up here at St. Anselm in New Hampshire. Thank you and be well.